All right, ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to learn about um, putting things to the zero power. We know that a power or an exponent um, is like when you take three squared, means you're doing three times three. All right, so we know that that's just going to equal nine, and that's what three squared is. All right, and you do like four times three. I'm sorry, that's silly. Four to the third, you would do four times four times four. So you're multiplying it by however many times it is. Okay, now... So, what do you do if you see one that is to the zero power? I'll tell you what you do. You make it one. Yeah, it's that easy. I, I pause to let it sink in how great this is. Easiest math thing ever. 102 to the zero power. Guess what that's going to be? One. Hey, but what about if it's 44 to the zero power? Oh, yeah, that's going to be one. Oh, but before we do that, real quick question. 7 to the 0 power? Oh, yeah, that's 1 all day, every day. And then what about negative 12 to the 0 power? Oh, yeah, guess what? That's uh, negative 1. What? Play A, B, Cray, what? Okay, let me explain that to you. Say you've got negative 3 squared, okay? What you're doing is that exponent is only attached to the 3. It's not attached to that negative. That negative is essentially like saying negative 1 times 3 squared because the squared is only attached to what it is directly attached to. So therefore, it's 3 times 3, which is 9, and then we negative 1 times 9, and that would be negative 9. That's why if you type this in your calculator, or I'm sorry, if you type, oh dear, what happened? Sorry, drop that pad. What? Don't tell nobody. Okay, so um, like I was saying, um, that square, that exponent, is attached to the number directly attached to it. So that negative isn't attached to that. So therefore, this is essentially like saying, making that 12 to the 0 power, times negative 1, which would be 1, and then 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. Now, if you label it like this, that exponent is attached to everything inside there. Therefore, it equals 1, and we're back to normal. You just learn some stuff, put it in your brain, and chew it. Hey, Tyler here. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out TarverAcademy.com. I'd for real appreciate it if you would check out the Facebook page. Tweet me or follow me on that, and then check out my other YouTube channel where it's less mathy and more non-mathy. Also, please subscribe to this YouTube channel. I don't know why I'm putting arrows. Maybe there's something that will tell you where something is to subscribe. Share it with your friends, too, if you want. Bye-bye.